Uh, okay, guys, uh, let's come back. And we have uh, we are going to discuss about mathematics of form three, the first chapter. That's quadratic expressions and equations. Remember, we have learned this concept in our previous class of form two. Uh, it is basically just like the previous one, but here we will have different concept of quadratic expressions. Uh, remember, in form two, we have learned factorization and getting the value of x. Remember, that's what we have learned. We have also learned work product involving uh, quadratic in uh, in form two. Uh, and likewise, we have also seen an expansion of quadratic uh, expression and uh, so many things, of course. But today's class is form three, first chapter. That's quadratic expressions and equations. It is very, very easy and we're coming, by the way. So first, we are going to start uh, what you normally call factorization of quadratic expression. So we're going to start factorization of quadratic of quadratic expressions. This is what we are going to see because it is very, very useful. Uh, let's see this one. Example one, we are told factorize factorize each of the following expressions. Each of the following expressions. Then we have uh, and the first one x squared minus six x plus 8 x squared minus 6 x plus 8 so remember we said when we come to the solution back we say the x squared minus say minus 6 x plus 8 so remember we had product in form 2 product is ac a times c which is now 8 a is the coefficient of x squared in this situation it's 1 then we have our sum as negative 6 now let's get two numbers whose product will give us what? 8. We know that 1 times 8 will give us 8. 2 times 4 will also give us what? 8. Uh, we say that when the product side is positive, remember the two numbers you're going to are either or positive or negative. They both, are, they both will be positive or what? Negative. But we will not have a situation where one of them will be negative and the other will be positive. No. Because in the product side, they will get negative. Remember this time, so far again we have... In the sum side, we have a negative number. So the two numbers you're going to take are both negative. So let's say like this, negative 1, negative 8, negative 2, negative 4. So negative 1 times negative 8 is what? Positive 8. Okay, that's right. From, uh, from the product side, it's okay. But when you say negative 1 plus negative 8, it will be negative 9. So it will not be right. Can't you see now the sum side? But this one, negative 2 times negative 4 is what? Negative, uh, positive 8. It's okay. Then negative 2 plus negative 4 is what? Negative 6. So we're going to take these two pairs. So we'll replace with the position of what? Negative 6x. So we're going to say x squared minus 2x minus 4x plus 8. So this will give us what? x outside. Because we will, we will factorize these two separately and these two separately here. Yeah? So it will be x minus 2. Again here, we say that we want to get the common of these two. We said if a negative number is, uh, if a negative is followed by a positive, factor out the negative of the common. We know that uh, between these two we don't have common letter, but remember we have the GCD which is 4. So we're going to say negative 4 outside, then x is minus 2 also. Why? Because negative 4x divided by negative 4 is positive x, positive 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. So can you see now what you're having in the brackets is the same. So take one of them, you're going to say x minus 2 into x minus 4. So this uh, will be uh, the final answer for your information. This will be the final answer uh, for your information. Okay, let me add one more, then we proceed ahead. Let me add example 2. Let's come here, we have example 2. Then in our example 2, we have this number. We have this number with this x squared plus 9x squared, 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. Coming to the solution, again, let's write this one, 9x squared plus 12x plus 4. 
then we have bracket. Bracket is nine times four, that's six. Then we have also sum. Our sum is what? Our sum is twelve. Remember this time the product is positive and then uh, the sum is also positive. So we're going to take two numbers that are that are positive, yeah. So we're going to say uh, that six comes from here. six times six, nine times four, eighteen times two, and then one times uh, that six. So remember the two numbers are post positive, yeah. Then one times that six is right here. When you when you go to the product, it's okay. One times that six is what is that six? But one plus that six will give us what that seven. So it, this one we cannot check for information. Six times six, that six, yeah, is okay. Six plus six, twelve. Oh, in fact, these are the two numbers you're going to check. Because the, when you sum them, it will give you twelve. When you multiply them, you're, go, you're gonna get what? At that six. Let's try this one. Nine times four, that six is okay. The product side. But when you add nine plus four, is that ten? Sorry, it's not. Likewise, this one. Eighteen times two is that six. But eighteen plus two is what? Twenty. So can't take that. So these two we cannot we cannot take also. So the plus of twelve x we are going to replace what we, we are going to replace with these two. So we're gonna say nine x squared plus six x plus another six x plus four plus four. Here we have uh, the common here is what three x open the bracket. This divided by this three x plus two. Then here we have two as our GCD. Then three x plus two. Then we are going to say 3x plus 2, taking one of these into 3x plus 2. So this will be the final answer. Or you can say, or you can write like this 3x plus 2 squared. Because they are the same. You take one of them, then introduce the square sign on top of the bracket. And that's how you are going to factorize a quadratic expression. In our next uh, concept of mathematics, we are going to see. Uh, how to look for a missing term. How to look for a missing term. So that one is not in completing the square. This is what they're going to say. Completing the square. Completing the square. Completing the square. Okay? Look at this one. Uh, because remember we say the quadratic expression takes this format. Ax squared plus bx plus c. So we will be missing one of these terms. Then we are expected to get the terms that are missing or the term which is missing, by the way. So we're gonna say, having this one in, in place, remember we said in form two concept, we said the quadratic expression takes this uh, form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c. But when this expression is equated to zero or any other number, that's what you normally call quadratic equation of what you're going to see ahead of us. Okay, now let's see how uh, questions comes from this kind of Concept of mathematics. Let's see. Okay, you're tall, eh? example one. You're tall. You're tall. What must be added? What must be added to x squared plus 10x to make it to make it a perfect square? To make it a perfect square. So this must be question. Now this is the solution. We are going to say this is what we have in x squared plus 10x. Remember, uh, we are missing the term of c. So let's say now, because it's written as what? Well, ax squared plus bx plus c, the expression. So let's say, let the missing term, let the missing term. B constant C. Constant C. Then we can say x squared, look here. You can say x squared plus 10x plus C. But remember, we know that. We know that. B over 2. There's a formula connecting. B over 2 in bracket squared is equal to AC. Don't forget, you're going to use this one to get the missing term. So we're going to say. Uh, our b is what? Our b is this one. So we're going to say 10 out of 2 squared is equal to a. Your a is 1 in this situation because the x coefficient is 1. It's not greater than 1 because the 1 is in a country. See now. So we're going to say 
1 times c. So you can say 5 squared is equal to c. c therefore is equal to 25. So this is the missing term we are looking for. This is what the missing term we are looking for, for information. Guys, uh, form 3 guys particularly, for those who will be now promoting to uh, form 3, they are 2020, when they will. Make sure you take advantage of this uh, concept of mathematics. It is very, very examinable, by the way. Yeah? Now let's see now uh, how to get. This time we have been looking for the constant. So now, now, now let's see how we're going to get B or A. B or A again. Because I must teach you the three uh, of them so that during examination you will be in a position to tackle them. Okay? Let's see this one here. Turn, huh? Look at this one. Okay, you can, okay, but this one, before we proceed ahead, this one can be solved in another way, method two. Let me also help you, uh, using what, method two, then after that, uh, we'll go for the, uh, for the other concept of uh, this mathematics. And le can I, let me say method two, method two, method two. Now, uh, for the method 2, we, have, uh, we are going to say like this, x squared plus bx plus c is equal to x plus k squared, x plus k in the bracket, squared, comma, where k is another constant, where k is another constant, where k is what, another constant, look at this. Mathematics is very easy, my friends, but people are making it hard. It is very cheap, by the way. So we're going to say x squared plus bx plus c is equal to square this one. This is for two concepts, remember. If you are not uh, familiar with this thing, please go back to my uh, uh, YouTube uh, videos that basically comes from form 2 uh, quadratic. So we're going to say x squared is what? x squared plus this times this is xk times 2. 2xk, two 2a xk plus k squared. Remember this one is equal to this one, this one is equal to this one, this one is equal to this one. So cancel these two. Then say like this now. Look here. Oh, sorry, 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 I've forgotten. I must try this one. So here we have already what? We have uh, 10x. Sorry for that, I apologize. Then here we have 10x. So we can say 10x is equal to 10x is equal to 2xk. Then to get k, you can divide it at 2x. You have also 2x. Cancel this thing. So k is equal to what? 5 by 2, 1 by 2, 5. But, inform them, but k is equal to what? k is equal to, uh, k squared is equal to what? c. So now, so you can get our c. c is equal to what? Uh, k squared, which is 5 squared. It will give us what? 25. So this is the end point. Uh, inshallah, God willing. We are going to continue from there in our next uh, class and hopefully I'll try my best to help you with different concepts of mathematics from this uh, chapter and how they frame during our national exam. Guys, make sure you don't forget to share this thing with your family members and friends because uh, it is very, very important uh, because, uh, and, well, simply because you can learn it when you are at home level. Otherwise, I wish you the best.